I am Lydia Musimide and uh, I've done insurance for the last 10 years since 2009 to date and my work has been just waking up in the morning go out there and just talk to people talk to people talk to parents talk to people who like investments talk to people who want to insure their cars talk to people who want medical insurance talk so insurance in general is what i do every single day One of the benefits of you taking up a life insurance policy is that uh, insurance gives people peace of mind. You know, there's this feeling that you are insured. Of course, being insured, if you're a parent, it means in case of anything, your children will be compensated. In case you had an investment plan and you, you had, uh, of course, the insurance policy to that and your business happens to maybe get a problem like you've gotten an accident and that means you can no longer run your businesses very well still that business can be guaranteed so it's about which particular package that you as a parent or as an individual want that we shall be able to give you the benefits according to that particular business to that particular package if the school fees and we make sure that whatever you plan in fact, in, in short, I may say that to me, my work is to enable dreams. So, we have a, a post that we call Semester Plus. As you've said, it's an education insurance plan. Where are you the parent, you're the policy holder. So when you are the policy holder, it means that all other benefits are on your side because you, we may call you a breadwinner. You wake up every day to provide food, to provide school fees for your children. So you, you can imagine, if you don't wake up tomorrow, what happens? That whatever that you've been doing for your family, no one will do it. If you've been paying school fees for your son, no one will come to do it on your behalf, you see? So that's our African setting. So what we do, you've said you have a son, you can uh, get for your son an education policy and save for a minimum of five years. You see, your son is just two years, you said. So two years, he has one year home to learn how to talk, then go to nursery. In nursery schools, we spend there three, three years. Baby, middle, top. So you taking up a five-year plan means that you are saving right now the child is still home. Then you'll begin to still pay school fees from your pocket for the nursery school. But after five years from now, your child will be ready to go to primary two. So your yeah, old mission can actually begin paying for that good primary school. And do you know what you need to do? You just need to sit down with your son or with your spouse and say, I would like my son to go to Kaboja school. And so my work is now to see how much Kaboja school is paying per term and then be able to come up with certain amount of money or a figure that I can put you before you and say this is what you need for your child to go to this particular school. So it's a dream first. Sit with me as an advisor, bring out that dream into reality. Because of the uncertainties that we have in life, you've talked of death. If you do not make it today, what happens? So, when you're insured with us, we do not, no one knows when you are going to die. Death can come after one year, after three months, after a week. No one knows, God forbid. So you ask yourself that as a parent, of, uh, have, you have one son, two years. So if you happen to pass on, God forbid, in fact, what we do, for example, if we had set a certain amount of money and say we are targeting Kaboja for primary two and you have saved one year as a parent and death has come in, so, God forbid we don't look at how much you will have put on the account at that time. We look at the amount of insurance we had insured on you, the breadwinner. So what happens is that, of course, school fees for one, for one year, that means after one year from now, your child will be just joining baby class. You see? But for us, we are planning for primary two or for primary school and secondary school. So in case of death, we don't look at how much you will have put on the account. We immediately step into your shoes, but before we do that, we pay for funeral expenses. We don't want your family to begin moving up and down, then looking for fees, no death as I mean uh, for the funeral expenses. So we first clear that to give your, 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 you know, to give peace to your family. Then it is from that 
that we shall begin to step into your shoes and clear the school fees. You see, we don't clear up to only up to five years. No, we are doing what you could, you should have done as a parent up to primary one. So in primary two, yep, your old mutual also begin from there, paying school fees per term until the child finishes school. So it's, it's a nice feeling when you're insured and death comes in, that's an automatic free education to your child. If we consider our very school, say Kaboja, as, as I mentioned in an example, we may look at Kaboja right now pays 1.5 when you're starting and then 1.3 million per term. So it means we need almost 4.5 million per, per year in a, in a class. And if we are providing school fees maybe from primary one to P7, those are seven years. So we may look at 4.5 million times seven years to get the picture of how much we can look at. So that means we need a target of around 50 million in the next five years. And then maybe when you put our calculations basing on your date of birth and then the, the policy period of five years or even 10 years if you want a secondary school. So you'll find yourself that you're paying around 6 million per year. Mm -hmm. Six million per year. So when you look at how much you are earning after your rent, I don't know if you're still renting after your other expenses at home, and then you're like, now I think I can be able to take up the six millions. However, we have the very minimum that somebody can look at three million per year. Is three million per year okay with you? Yes, of course. But of course, does not go for Kaboja, but other schools. But if you're looking at, say, Kaboja, and that maybe that's your dream school, we could say, look at, say, minimum of six million per year. You, do you know that when you have such a policy and you've been picking your children from Kaboja, you pass by Garden State for, say, an ice cream every evening, that shade you can still continue even after your death. God forbid. Why? Because we include every expenses. If you have been this kind of a, a parent that you take your child, uh, to, to Canada every holiday, still after your death, God forbid, such benefits can as well continue. So what are we doing, sir? We are saying that the dream that you really have for your child, whether you're, when you're there, of course, you can continue providing whatever the child wants, but think about when you can no longer be there. Can your child again continue to get the same benefits? Th th that's the point here. And that's why every parent out there should think about taking up a semester policy to guarantee their children's future education. Half monthly premiums, uh, quarterly premiums, uh, half year premiums, and annual premiums. So, like people who are assured of their salary per month, say a public servant, and is like, no, you know what? Pick 250 from my account. I'm okay with it every 10th. We shall do that and we use direct debits that we send to the banks to pick the money monthly. And whenever we pick the money and we receive it at, at UAP, you receive a, a receipt on your email. We don't again move up and down every month that we are bringing you a receipt. So we are even given a code that even going forward, you begin accessing your statements online. Okay, so you could do your annual. And to me, as an insurance expert, that's what has made me outstanding out there. That's why I've always been the top, top person in the, in the insurance industry, just because the clients I bring on board continue to pay their premiums and we call it persistence. To me, I'm a mother of three. I would say that all my children are all insured with VAP Old Mitchell. In fact, me before I get my salary, the premiums is deducted at source before my money is posted to, to my bank account. So it gives me that good feeling. Also, when I'm out there, to know that I am insured and in case of anything happening to me out there, my children's education is not an issue because I know VAP will come and cover up until they finish university. So what I can tell parents out there is that uh, don't just sit and relax and, and you fail to take up uh, an education policy. If you want a nice future guaranteed education for your children. So don't just sit and take your children to, to, to know every evening for uh, outings and then forget to save something aside. Because no one knows. We are here, we have got a life, but we don't know, we don't know what can happen to us as parents tomorrow. So my final advice is that um, they need to come and enroll. They need to, to come and see this insurance expert and talk to me, call me on my numbers, 
come and, and enroll follow me on, on, on Facebook follow me on YouTube Instagram Twitter and hashtag is uh, Lydia Msimile or you may type in insurance expert and uh, of course the, the final thing would be you filling up the forms and giving UAP that, that opportunity to either deduct from your source or deduct from your bank account premium per month or transfer money from your account direct to UAP account and that will make it a contract between you the policy holder the premium payer that breadwinner at home together with the UAP or insurance and the future of your education will be guaranteed.